Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about protecting your internet access on your mobile devices using a VPN. Connecting to the internet these days is very simple. Obviously mobile data is available to us, Wi-Fi's are available in almost every place we go. But most of the times these Wi-Fi's are unsecured, meaning you're connecting to the same network that anybody else can log into as long as they're in the same vicinity. Connecting with the VPN is the smart way to protect your data on your device and make sure that your connections are encrypted so that nobody can actually run a packet sniffer and at the end of the day, find out what you're doing on your device. So NordVPN is sponsoring this video. I want to say thank you very much for sponsoring this video and providing me with a really good discount for you guys up to 77% off up for the three year plan. It's going to be at $2.75 a month to protect your internet access on your mobile devices. Not only that, you can do that up to six different devices. Let's check it out. So Nord will work on many devices, even your desktop, but today I want to specifically cover your mobile devices. So we're going to talk about the iPhone. This is the iPhone 8 Plus, as well as the uh, Pixel 2 XL. So we have Android and iOS. I'm going to show you guys the applications that we have in here, but not only that, I want to show you guys some of the extra features that are natively built in to both operating systems to, sp to support VPN. Now, Nord VPN is an application you can download directly from the Play Store or even download as a Chrome extension or a desktop application. So you can use it on your Windows, you can use it on your Chrome uh, browser, as well as you can use it on your Android device. Uh, launching the application is very simple. Uh, it'll take you directly into the Quick Connect server or you can go into the map. Uh, they have a very simple map to connect from. Uh, you'll notice there are some Asian uh, servers as well as Europe is very heavily concentrated here between the different countries. Um, and then here in the US, we have one to be able to get us connected to either Canada, US, Mexico, or Central America and South America, of course. Uh, the beauty about it is I can actually select a server and connect to it in less than a second. So here, boom, I'm connecting and it's going to connect to the US. And you'll notice right there on the top right of the top left side of my screen, it does show that I am connected to VPN. So you'll notice not only does it show the connection, gives you the connection to the server type as well as the uh, amount of data that's sent and received between. And if you notice, I didn't do anything other than connect and there's data being transmitted back and forth as a lot of stuff on our device gets synced. Um, so I'm going to just say disconnect from the VPN at this point. I'm going to go back to home. Uh, the map is the simple way to connect. There's also the quick connect based on your GPS location. So for me, I'm in the US, I'll hit quick connect. It's gonna lock it, lock directly to the US server, connect to it and get me back up and running. Very simple, very easy. And of course you can still select it and disconnect from it here. Uh, this is the basic uh, list of servers that you have access to, all the different countries. You can favorite them. You can make them very simple to connect to. So if let's say you know you're going to be traveling to the UK a lot, put that in. Um, you do have P2P protection, uh, Onion over VPN, double VPN, anti-DDoS, as well as dedicated IP request. So by default, you're getting a DHCP IP, but you can specifically request an I, a static IP with the service itself. Uh, of course, we can do a search and then we can go in and get the information from there. Turning on in the settings within the NordVPN application, it's very nice. So you have CyberSec. I always like to keep that one on. Uh, this is obstructed service disabled. So if there's any issues, you don't have a problem. Um, auto, uh, auto connect. This is a really nice functional thing. If you'd like to be on VPN all the time, there's unlimited data here. There's no constraint as far as how much data you're able to use on this. The main constraint you need to keep in mind with, with at least one account is that you can only connect up to six devices at the same time. So you can have it start on boot. Uh, once over Wi-Fi network, so you know you're going to be connecting to Wi-Fi, you can have it directly turn on. And of course, specifically on unsecured Wi-Fi, so let's say coffee shops and so on. And then of course, auto connect. Uh, we have knowledge base set up, uh, basically uh, send us an email if you have any question, activity log if you'd like to check that out, and of course, signing out of the application. If you switch over within the settings within Android, we do have a tab for, for VPN. Now you can customize or add your own VPN client if you have all the server information. But once you install Nord, it actually adds itself to the list. And you have the ability of also turning on some of those functionalities that I mentioned to you guys, uh, is that you can turn it on to be always on, so it'll always connect to it. So that gives you the protection that if you're connected to the internet, either be it mobile data, Wi-Fi, or any sorts of the internet, it's automatically on. But where it actually likes to have that extra feature that we don't have within the application is block connections without VPN, which means if I'm not connected to a VPN connection, it stops transmitting data, which is a very, very functional. Of course, we can also forget that and it gives us that extra feature. So this is an extra little feature within Android that is outside of the NordVPN application settings. So when you're out of NordVPN, you don't have the ability of customizing it here. Let's switch over real quick to the iOS side and show how different it is or how similar it is to the Android side. First thing you'll notice, of course, is that the interface is very similar. The map is still present here. You're able to select, sw scroll over to the server that you'd like, uh, select it. And if you want to connect to it, connect to it and it says pick the server. Uh, again, you can save them or you can 
add the uh, favorites and those do sync across devices. Uh, you have the ability of going to quick connect and it does the exact same thing it did on the other side. It's going to connect over there and then it'll get me connected over the same network and I can select it and disconnect. Very simple, very easy. Uh, the main thing here is you get the same selections of services. You can scroll down, find the server that you'd like. You do have that functionality of having a kill switch. It's also present on Android that if you do lose internet connection on that specific Wi-Fi, let's say you're connected to a site using VPN and the internet drops or you lose uh, VPN access, it's going to kill that connection. So that means you're not going to have to worry about that. The data will go over, switch from secure to unsecured. Very nice and very functional. Now, just as an Android iOS does support VPN natively. So you'll obviously, whenever you add that application, you have the ability of turning it on so that you can be connected at all times using VPN. If you go under the settings option, it gives you access to your information and it does give you the connect on demand, which means that as you want it, you can turn this on and it'll automatically connect you to the closest local VPN server. You'll notice it address, connection time, and you're pretty much set. If we go back into the NordVPN, it does an automatic connection to the closest server to you. So based on the fact that I'm in the US, it's gonna connect me to the US server. And I know that my connection is set up and you'll notice there's a little bit of VPN logo there giving us access to just say, hey, your connection is set and you not only that, you are protected. NordVPN makes it super simple to use VPN on your device. It makes it simple to install, configure, use, keep it on all the time or customize the different connections you want. Uh, you can have up to six devices connected, be it mobile devices, desktop P uh, PCs, or even within Chrome as they do have an extension. Uh, they have unlimited bandwidth. You don't have to worry about how much data you're using on there. And of course, with that $2.75 a month, it's hard to say no to, for that type of protection on your device. We are putting our information in the hands of unsecured networks whenever we go to a coffee shop or a library. And we never really think about the fact that, you know, it's unsecured. Our data is basically floating there. So I like the fact that VPN service is available and of course is available in areas that may not allow access outside of their own countries. And I think you understand what I mean. Uh, but overall, I think as far as the connection and what they provide, it's a really nice static IP is provided if you need it. And of course, there's a lot more things going on for them. I'll give you guys a link in the description below to be able to check out their special offer. And again, let me know in the comments below what special services or VPN services that you guys use to protect your devices. Or do you think VPN is or not needed for your devices? Uh, like and subscribe as usual. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you very much to Nord for sponsoring this video and I'll see you guys in the next video.